Oh, this is even worse. Okay, whatever. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a CD poster and a poster booklet. This project is perfect if you want to include a gift on your project or if you want to make a booklet without using staples and cutting a lot of paper. They're great for personal use or to promote your own music. The process of the poster and the poster booklet are different, so I'm going to show you how to make both of them and the difference between one another. All right, enough talking, let's get started. Start by going into the description on this video and clicking on the link that says templates. Once the link opens, there will be three different folders. Open the one labeled templates. Download the file called number five poster booklet. Once you downloaded it, open it on Photoshop. In there, you can import the image you want as a poster onto the file and arrange it as necessary. My image was already adapted to the file, but if yours needs adjusting, do so. Go back to the link in the description of the video and this time click on the folder called Paper Sizes. There, download the file called Tabloid Size. Once you have downloaded the file, open it with Photoshop. Copy and paste your image onto the file and it should place itself in the middle. Save it as a high resolution JPEG and print it on computer paper on Tabloid Size. This is the only way you would be able to print a CD poster. If you don't have a printer that can hold tablet size or you don't have tablet size paper, you can go to a printer center such as Staple or Office Depot and there they usually have printers that can print in this size. Once you print it, it should look something like this. Cut it out. Now, all that there's left to do is to mark the folds. With a ruler and a pencil, mark these measurements in your image. Join them together with a tool to score the folding lines and not with a pencil. Before, I used to use an empty ballpoint pen, but since then, I actually broke the pen. So I have been using this dental tool that I got at a dollar store a long time ago and using the dull part of it to mark the folds, and it works really well. The folds are marked and now we just fold the poster and it's ready to include in your CD. For the poster booklet, the steps are really similar. However, you should design your booklet horizontally. The three squares on the bottom represent, starting left to right, the cover, the back cover and a flap with an image you want to use. And on the inside, you can design it as you wish. I would recommend you to take these notes to design your poster booklet as best as possible. Once you have designed your poster booklet, open the tablet size file and rotate it horizontally. Copy and paste your image onto the file and it should place itself in the middle. With this, you are going to save it as a high resolution JPEG and print it on computer paper on tabloid size on both sides of the paper. You should have something like this. If you're wondering why my back is all colored, it's because sometimes the back prints off by a few millimeters. So I do this as a precaution to avoid any white showing on the inside. To start, we cut it out. Succeeding the cutting session, we marked false, as in the previous one. It should look something like this. And you can either fit in a regular jewel case or in any type of packaging. And that is it for this video guys. As you saw at the end, I have a three panel CD jacket with plastic inserts and a regular CD jacket. Those I'm going to be showing you how to make next week. So if you don't want to miss that video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the video. I hope you like it. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are, thank you so much. Don't forget that you can follow me on my social medias at Crafter Training. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.